Hello, 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 hello. I'm so excited. I am very excited. I um, We just started our brand new Motivation Mondays show. And I'm gonna wait while people get on here. And while you're getting on, go ahead and type where you are from in the chat there, because that's a really cool place to do it. It's a, um, just say, you know, New York or wherever you're from, because we're excited to have you here. I wanna say hello and get a chance to connect with you all and tell you about why we're doing Motivation Mondays and share a little bit about this with you. So share that, you know, when you get a chance in this chat there and uh, yeah, can't hear me. Oh, no, you can hear, okay, good, I'm good. So if I have to put the glasses on in the meantime, I'm like, what does that say? Oh, now I can see it. All right, good. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Lisa. <laughs> Uh, oh, yay, New York. See, somebody heard me there from New York. Uh, Glendale, Arizona. Love it. Hi. <laughs> Love hearing from you guys. I know lots of people jumping on. And I just want to explain to you, explain, share with you why we're doing Motivation Mondays. And this has been a passion of mine for a long time. And there are a lot of statistics around Mondays. Did you know, Jennifer, <laughs> that it is one of the highest risks of heart attack days of the month? That wow. there's a 20% greater chance of heart attacks on Monday, Mondays for men and 15% for women. So we're gonna talk about how we're gonna solve this issue. There's also a study that showed, this is a, a, a Marmite study out of the UK, but it showed that the average people in the UK won't crack a smile until 11, 16 a.m on Mondays. That's just wrong because you have such a beautiful smile. And it's also shown that th people are 30% less productive on Mondays. And so the reason for all of these Monday statistics and why people call them, you know, their, their blues Mondays is because so many people are disconnected from their tribe on Mondays. They have these great weekend experiences with their peeps and their friends and their family and their tribes. And then they come into Mondays and it's sad, it's disconnecting. And that's why we wanted to do this on Mondays. We wanted to have a chance to bring everyone together in this incredible way. Not only do we have a tribe here to connect with and, and like-minded people to connect with, but we're going to be talking with brilliant people and bringing you transformational tools and techniques that you can actually use today based on brain science based on healing, spirituality, cutting edge information that will really actually help you improve the quality of your life. Because this information, I've been broadcasting for 20 years, this information, it is needed now more than ever. That's for People sure. are struggling with depression, with financial issues that are blindsiding, relationship issues, and there are tools out there that brilliant people have come up with that can help you really flourish in all of these areas. So this is an active environment here and we will be asking you to ask questions later on because that's part of you being engaged and involved and feeling loved and supported on these shows. So there's a place that you will be able to raise your hand. We'll go through all of this later, which um, is about the halfway point of the show, you, you'll start to be able to ask questions and all sorts of good things. And I also want to mention um, that if you go to, there's a special gift for you guys all. If you go to later after the show, theawareshow.com forward slash Linda. And if you go to theawareshow.com forward slash Linda, I have a show on the Gaia network. It's called Inspirations on Gaia. And you'll be able to watch that entire episode for free. And it talks about past life regression. So just we'll put that in the chat there. And um, I have Gina and James also joining me who are going to be supporting our, our entire journey today. So this is our first one and it's exciting. So my guest is Jennifer McLean. Now Jennifer and I have been buds for a long time. She is one of my mentors and she is a soul sister. I will tell you, every time I see Jenny Jen Jen, <laughs> I, and I said this to you the last time I saw you, I have this incredible incredible unconditional love for you. Mm. It is so strong. It is consistently just, I look at you and I just beam. <laughs> and I don't know what would happen in our past lives, but 
literally every time I see you, I just, I'm so grateful for you in my life. And I tell you this, not just today, I've told you this several times for all that you've guided me through and led me to and everything. I just absolutely love you. And I believe that you do this for many, many people. It's not just me. Jennifer is an internationally acclaimed healer. She's an author. She's a speaker. She's a edge pusher, a transformational change agent. And she has trained, of course, many other, not, not trained, but trained in her own way of, with this incredible spontaneous transformation technique. And it has helped hundreds of thousands of people shift the energy that they hold in their body and liberate themselves from old blocked energy, old hurts, patterns of obstacles that lead to disease. She's been through this herself in her life. Jennifer is very, very transparent. So it's really wonderful to have you here with me, my friend. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. I feel the same way about you. My heart goes pitter pat when I see you. <laughs> I know, it's just fun. It's so I mean, cool. <laughs> hey, my friend is here. It's so cool when you have people like that in your life that you just go, oh, <gasps> I know. I know. And that's the way we are. We're like a bunch of giddy girls. But, <laughs> we are. Um, you're also an incredible healer. You have a very deep connection with the divine and you are constantly hearing messages that maybe you didn't always listen to. Was there a time where you didn't? And still maybe a time when you don't. <laughs> <laughs> there, aren't the, there aren't many times now when I don't. That, that's a pretty um, consistent thing I do now is that I use every little part of my life now to, uh, to heal. Uh, I use every chance I get. I do the spontaneous transformation technique on myself. And of course, the uh, STT for short is uh, something that I actually do in the moment of upset and reaction. So um, I'm constantly doing it. I think um, I've been a healer since I was a teenager. And, you know, it started when I was... Uh, 16 years old and my mom burnt her finger really badly and it had a big blister on it. And I said, I said, let me just hold it. And so I held it for like 10 minutes and the blister was gone. And she looked at me and I looked at her. We never talked about it again until I was, wow. until I was in my thirties and trained as a healer and uh, realized that something had happened that kind of scared both of us a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing this for a really, really long time. I was uh, the youngest person in my class. I was 27, 28 when I started uh, training as a healer. Uh, so I've been doing this. And you know, now that was only three years ago, right? In your class. <laughs> <laughs> right. so, I mean, I know that you have this, these incredible instincts, but it's more than that though. You also have an ability to listen to your guides, which you also teach people to do. Yes. That yes. voice inside your head isn't just that the chatter, the crazy chatter. It's actually, it's actually guidance. Absolutely. It's guidance. And you know, everyone has a different way of hearing that guidance. I actually physically hear voices um, in my head. I've, I've heard them for forever and they've always guided me correctly. So they don't freak me out at ever. Um, and it's also, I've known from the start, you know, that this was my voice because it sounded like me in my head. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I'm constantly hearing things, but everyone has it a different, some people sense things that's, you know, that like they pick up objects and can sense things. That's clairsentient. Yes. Um, cla clairaudient is I'm clear. I'm actually all of them clairaudience. Clair and, and the more you practice, the more you do. I mean, how many of you? Absolutely. Well, um, you, know, you and I have talked about this, uh, Lisa, that, uh, when I became a teacher and a, and a healer, when I started healing with the masters and brought my healing to hundreds of thousands of people, man, I could hear when I wasn't on a call, when I wasn't working with a client, I could hear myself in my own head saying to myself, hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. You just told someone this. You just taught this thing. <laughs> and, yeah. and so now um, that accelerated completely my journey as, as a, a spiritual being. When I started teaching, it exponentially increased my spirituality, my access, my content, my insights, and my own personal healing. There's no doubt about it that the acceleration happens. You know, we teach what we most need to learn and that oh, is yeah, so yeah, true. Yeah. 
<laughs> and so we get to hear in our own voice what we just coached and taught and and did some healing work with someone else. It's true. It's for real. Yes. <laughs> it's just, yes. Which is which is great because you walk your talk, and and many of us do in this in this uh, what do we call us transformational leaders. But I think we're all transformational leaders. It's a work in progress. Absolutely. The word awareness is a very big word, and all it means is being connected with yourself constantly and. The more time you spend there, the less time you're going to be separated from yourself and lying to yourself and not listening. Yeah, yeah. transformational. Um, I like that you that that you brought that up. Transformational leadership, we all are, and <clears throat> I've been shown this vision of what happens when someone heals, like really, like has this wild whoosh, kind of healing where it's like it moves from this small person to like poof. And you can feel it and see it and witness it. I can see their aura kind of explode. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, something happens to all of humanity. Um, and the vision they showed me was that we're all on this web, like a spider web, but it's not gross. It's like we're part of this spider web. Um, that, and what, you know what happens when a, spider, when a little bug lands on a spider web, the whole web goes, wah, right? So when one of us explodes into healing on this web of humanity, all of us are impacted by it, all of us. Nice. <clears throat> and the great news is, is on that same vision, what they shared with me is that darkness is also part of the web. Uh, However, uh. the light is a thousand times more powerful. Mm. So the darkness, we will actually feel a little ping. And that's in part what, what some people are experiencing right now, uh. is that the, the, the light is getting so great that the darkness is also expanding. And so there's a little ping that all of us are kind of feeling. It's a little bit of pressure, a little compression. And it's okay. Because the minute we recognize it, we recognize it, we see it, then it's like you were already saying, it's awareness. I see it. I see that it's darkness and I see that it can't harm me unless there's an invitation. Right. And so I get to look at it, observe it and see it and do something with it. I get to do something with my reaction to it. And yes. I get to shift and change and heal. And so as you look at something that is darkness, lower vibrating, really, as you do that and use it to actually expand and heal, you're so far above it now that it's not even, it's hardly even noticeable. And that's where all of us are being asked to go in these really kind of extreme times is to notice the low vibration, use it to find an even higher vibration. Notice the low vibration to find an even higher vibration. That's my daily practice for myself personally, too, is to observe, become aware, like mm -hmm. you were saying, mm -hmm. it, to expand into a higher, an even higher version of that. So we have this wonderful, wonderful um, energy um, our, that we can use against darkness, against lower vibrating things, which is when we notice it and develop a practice around I'm not that. In fact, I'm going to use this to remember who I really am as light and do the spontaneous transformation technique as one example. Then we, we have this huge advantage over the lower vibration, huge advantage, See, which is we point. are shifting that by shifting us. I, I have, has, yeah, this phrase popped into my head the other day because I love humanity. I really love humanity. And wherever I go, I, I light up when I connect with human beings. I really do. I love humanity and what they represent. Yeah. But there are humans that I have sometimes a hard time with that make like, you know, when you change executive orders via Twitter and things like <laughs> that, you know, I have, a, I, I feel these senses of urgency to really motivate humanity just like you're talking about right now to do something. And I feel the same sense of urgency inside of me, like, oh my God, we've got to do something. We've got to do something. We had to do something yesterday. We have to yes. do something. And it's like this urgency, this push. And if it, all everyone who's participating here, feel free to chime in on the chat because I will see it and I will read it. Um, if you're feeling that sense of urgency too, or if you're finding that you need or you're looking for a way to cope with that, to really cope with that. And this is why the tools that you teach, Jen, are so important right now, because mm -hmm. you really 
speak to that. You speak to how to cope with mm -hmm. this urgency, this sense of urgency for humanity. This, I mean, the climate, everything, everything. Yeah. The water's temperatures today are what they were predicted to be in 2065. They are that now. We need to activate humanity. It, it's burning inside of me. So what can we do? And explain what spontaneous transformation is. Sure. So, um, so it's actually moving from a state of doing to a state of action. Thank you. And it's, it's difficult to do action when you are in a state of doing. Right. So action actually comes out of a state Pure divine action comes out of a state of pure being. And that's the first wake up call that all of us are being asked to do is to actually wake up to notice that we are powerful beings of light and love. Now that's not some pithy statement. That's a truth. That's an absolute truth. So everyone just tap in right now. What would it be like if you actually knew that you were being a powerful being of light and love? Just pretend with me for a minute that you can tap into that. What would that be like if you knew that you were a powerful being of light and love? Mm. That's it. There's a shift happening already. Yeah, I can feel that tingling on my head. Right? So yeah. that's it. I mean, and honest to God, it's as simple as that. I know that seems like, well, what's that going to do? And here's what's that, what that is going to do. By moving into these moments, uh, another one that I use if, almost every day, I use, no, not almost. Every single day I do this one. What if I say to myself, what if Jen, right now you were connected to your soul, you were connected to spirit, you're connected to divine energy, and you were kind of sitting in the center of your soul. What would that be like if you were doing that? And that just puts me right there. And then as we go into that place, I want you to notice it. Everyone just pretend with me that you can do that. Even if you have an inkling of a possibility of a maybe that you can do it, that's enough. Yeah. That's enough to be there. So just move into that energy with me. What if right now I were at the center of my soul connected to my soul? Mm. What would that be like? And I could actually maybe even hear a little bit of the whispers of the, um, of the impulses of the soul that, that have been trying to get my attention. What if that were true and you were actually doing that? What would that be like? And by describing it, what you're doing is you're waking it up. It's called, I call it shining the light of consciousness on it. Mm. The consciousness, bringing all of this into conscious awareness is incredibly powerful and important right now. So if you're in that place, what if you were in that place? You were actually at the center of your soul, ah, connected with spirit. And I want you to notice something. Your mind is quiet. Is that true? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, it's very quiet. Right? Isn't that something? Yes. Now, most people take 20 to 30 minutes of meditation to get to there. Uh, we don't have time anymore. I'm just kidding. Right. Um, <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. I'm just kidding. Well, with the um, pace of today, I believe you. And but, but we can do a lot of this stuff in an accelerated way, right? And so that's what, in part, the spontaneous transformation technique is about. It's about doing things in an accelerated way. Um, and, and part of, you know, the Schumann Residence, if you haven't heard of that, you can look it up, Google it. The Schumann Residence is kind of like the tempo and the pace of the planet, and it's it exponentially increasing. It has been for the last 20 some odd years. And so that actually indicates that time is speeding up. Mm -hmm. um, you might notice that you get more done in a day than you ever did before. It seems like there's 28 to 30 hours in a day, and it's true, there is. Wow. Um, yeah, so time has sped up, and there's a lot more going on than just human creating chaos on this planet. There's something else afoot here. There's a grand unfolding. There's a divine opening and awakening. And I trust God. I trust Source. I trust you. I trust your soul. Lisa, I trust all the souls that are watching here, yes. that we are co-creating something magnificent. And instead of approaching it from a place of fear or doing, that's a mind-oriented concept. We have to do something. Oh my God, we have to do something. We have to do something. That's okay. It's okay to be that way. But notice that you're being that way and use it to move into, what if I were at the center of my soul? I notice that I'm in a, oh, I have to do something. And, okay, okay. What if, what if, what if? Moving over here. What if I were at the center of my soul right now? 
Like it's that fast. And I tell you that place of quiet, it's the most powerful place on the planet for you and for everyone else on the planet. That place of quiet, the quiet mind is it. And so what happens though, I don't know, I don't know if you're noticing this, but everyone is in this beautiful energy of the center of their soul. And there's a quietness here. I call it the still point. Mm. Ah, And when we're in the still point, all possibilities open up to us. All opportunities become available to us because it has this big space now. Our space has increased. It has this big space to land into. If we're in doing, oh my God, and like, oh my God, I have to do something. Your energy is right, right here. Like there's no place to move within that energy. Right. That, that is, this is the energy of reaction. And we have a good reason for reacting because all of a sudden it's here. It's what it feels like. Yes. Right. Yes. It, but it's actually almost exactly like, it's not just feels like that. It's actually that when we have this space of being and the still point and the quiet mind, our space goes and it increases. And actually, we actually have more space to respond to life. To me, that's what responsibility is. It's an ability to respond. We give ourselves that ability to respond by being bigger. And we get bigger by being. And we be by just noticing what it would be like if we were. And it's that simple. You know, I, there's, there's someone here that said that if she, um, that she feels sad sometimes about the planet and the animals. Sure. And I did bring this up and it sometimes feels, and, and I totally get this. It, it's, um, was it Lainey? I, I get it because it sometimes feels like, what can we do? Yes. So what you're talking about, Jen, is exactly what we can do. Yes. You know, it's, it is how we can, and if with enough of us doing this, yes. we can being make, this, being this, we can really make an impact. I mean, you can absolutely move weather. It sounds, and it sounds like, a, like to an activist, if, you know, I've, I've worked with some activists lately, but, and they got it. It's okay to be an activist, but when you are an activist from a spa- space of being, yeah. you know, that beautiful little 16 year old from Sweden right? The climate change uh, girl. I can't remember her name. Yes. She is getting so much attention because she is so being, she is simply her. And she stands in front of the adults and says, you just a whole bunch of you are, you don't deserve to be here because you just flew your private jet in here. Right. And she, she, that comes from a state of being. So, uh, you know, some people think it's antithetical that, well, we have to do something. We have to do something. Yes, we do. But when we act, when we take action instead of doing from a place of being instead of a mind oriented panic, we are now taking action that actually creates a mechanism that all are served and it doesn't waste any time. It actually it actually is in alignment with everyone's energy. Yes, so, that's a, that's a perfect right? example. Yes, that girl, Greta. And people are saying, right. make America Greta again. <laughs> she's so dynamic. I mean, and that is so, she's contagious. Because yes. she, and why is she contagious? Because she comes from this energy. She is her with no questions asked. And that's what all of us are being asked to. In fact, we have a bunch of teenagers that can reveal to us, many of you who have teenagers, they can show you what it's like to just be. Because oh, yes. they're doing it, man. They are being, there's a tiny bit of arrogance that comes with youth with that. But nonetheless, if you look behind the energy of it, you can see that many of these teenagers are actually a state of being. And all of us who are listening now have been seeding the, the energy on the planet for, for this to happen. But we are, we we are yes. definitely make a difference by being in a state of being. And you know, the hundredth monkey, right? Yes. You've heard of the hundredth monkey. Yes. All we need is 750 million of us. That's it to change this whole thing. It's 10%. That's it. 
Some people are even saying it's 3.5%. I would say that we have that, Jennifer. I mean, look at the world today. <laughs> Not, yes and no. So okay. here's, the, here's the, the caveat. Okay. The caveat is not that you're a good creator and can manifest things quickly, right? The law of attraction is not it. Um, what, what is it is that you are actually in this pure state of being no matter what. Okay, so I've been playing with this. I'm going to be really super authentic with you, okay? Um, as you know, the last three years have been terribly challenging for me financially for my business. I've been reinventing my business, moving off of doing healing with the masters and focusing exclusively on spontaneous transformation technique and basically starting from scratch with an enormous overhead left over from a $6 million company, right? Yes. So it's been really, really challenging and wonderfully, wonderfully healing. And um, what I'm coming to now, because of that, what I'm coming to is that uh, you know, things are starting to turn around a little bit for me lately. And I noticed that I had moments of starting to feel better because things are turning around. And I caught it. Because uh -huh. I'm, I want to be in a place that it doesn't matter what's happening in my circumstances, I'm still in good shape. Either way. That's the key. That's the 750 million people doing that is what's needed. 750 million people that don't require anything outside of them to change one bit uh, and wow. still be powerfully light and love and joy. That is huge. Jennifer. 750 million of us that don't need the climate to change, but we get to be in love with the process. That's what's needed. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm getting chills. As I too. Listening to this are, are starting to get this. Yes. When we are in that state of being that I don't need to win a lottery to be the love that I am. I don't need to have everything in my business turn around right. to be the joy and to take pleasure in every single moment. See, That's yeah. I think where we're heading. That it is I think it's mandatory because because of the level of change that's happening right now. Yes. And yes. I mean I've followed you for years and you've created the summit industry and you taught it to me and you, you know, you've pioneered so much in your life and every successful entrepreneur goes through these valleys and it, it is, and it cannot take you out. I've mm -hmm. seen our friends who have gotten cancer yes, and literally almost died because their businesses died. Yes. And, and I just, it's not worth linking our identity to our. No, and not only is it not that, it not only is it not worth it, it's actually the opposite. This wonderful downturn in my business, wonderful and horrible, wonderful and horrible, both, has allowed me to heal to the point where none of it actually matters even a little. Because when we make something matter, we make it dense. Yes. We, we make do. it into matter. We do. And so the opportunity for all of us, I know this is a little, um, a little, this is really advanced work that we're talking about here. I know we don't talk to no, people. This is actually, you can make it very simple. Yes. Yeah. Your yeah. But do turn into but, the matter. Absolutely. But the concept is, is something to embrace it as part of a life is a little bit challenging. And many people take several of my courses before I take them to here, but your people are pretty cool. So uh, we're going here. That's where guidance is taking us. Yes. The opportunity is for us to actually move into a state of being that is so powerful that it doesn't matter what happens. And, you know, there's going to be a lot happening in the coming decades, like a lot. Yeah, and years. not all of it's going to be great yeah. if we yeah. have the mindset that it needs to be great. <laughs> right. But many of us are going to get to the point where that's just what's in front of us. Okay, good. Let's yeah. get to play. Let's get to being. Let's move into the state of being and see what the impulse of my soul is guiding me towards. That, and that's and the humanity matters. That's why this matters. That's right. It is true. Isn't it something our, our atoms are 99.9999% space? Yes. So that we can really truly create from that place of space. Now, I'm not a scientist, obviously, but I know that... <clears throat> Know what space feels like. You felt it when you feel freedom. You feel it when you're in a in the zone, in meditation, whatever your zone is. And that is where you can create and you can literally form 
thoughts become things. I have, look here, so my thoughts become things. <laughs> I have my on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and and um, so what thoughts are you thinking? And that's another opportunity for us to get really judgmental on ourselves. Oh my God, I'm thinking a bad thought. Oh, from my perspective, notice the bad thoughts. They are revelatory. They're wonderful because they're revealing to you what's ready to be healed. They're showing you when you have an emotional upset and you're in reaction, it's simply revealing where you're at. That's all. And if we can move into that state of being with it to say, it's okay, uh, this is, I have this conversation with my mind and with other people's minds. And we just turn to the mind and say, it's okay, beautiful mind. I know that you have a really good reason for judging, analyzing, thinking, intervening, it, being worried or fearful. You have a really good reason why. Like when we were kids, a whole bunch of stuff happened and it was traumatic and we created coping mechanisms. We repressed emotions. We created um, uh, beliefs that they're false, but nonetheless, they felt true about who we are and what life is. All of those things are fueling our minds now and our minds are getting worried and overwhelmed and all of those things are simply symptoms that are revealing what's ready to be healed. That's it. So if someone cuts you off in traffic and you have a reaction, whatever your reaction is, is 100% yours. It had nothing to do with the guy who cut you off. It's yours. And it's yours to play with and honor and heal. And we don't have to judge the mind anymore for being upset. And we don't even have to say things like, I healed that years ago. You know, I, my sense is that we heal, we'll heal it until we leave. <laughs> That's what we're here for. We're here to just continually evolve. And, and there's layers and layers and layers like that onion skin of evolution. So yeah. we're here to heal until we don't. And as soon as I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm going to walk on water and then leave. <laughs> That's your plan? She's going to walk on the water and leave. Well, I want to do that first. I do that first. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> You know, it is, it is, it truly, I love that we're having this conversation because these are the places that we can have this conversation where we can remind all of us. I'm not saying remind you, I'm talking about me and you and everyone in this. I'm right here with you. Is, is reminding ourselves to be in that space of being, this is a constant reminder that is needed. Do you ever, um, go like on a trip, like it could be a day trip or even a, you know, a vacation or a work trip or whatever. And you come back and you realize that you're totally, your space has completely changed. Your mind has changed. But up until the time you leave, you're like, gotta do this. I gotta make sure everything's clean and the dishes are gone. And, I gotta, blah, blah, blah. and you look and you come back and it's a, it's the same place, but a different state. It's a yep. shift in consciousness. Yep. And it's, yep. and it happens all the time because all we really are is responsible for their state of being. That's all we can really control ever and manage. Yes. And is, is having the ability to respond to our life. Yeah. Instead of react. Yes. So, okay. So there's a course that you're teaching that is yes. a six week class on this, right? Where you yes. get to actually take people through this live journey, right? Yep. Uh, did you ever hear of Tony? Oh, I think his name was Tony Horton. He yes. did P90X. Do you remember that? I do. I yes. used to take that all the time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So P90X is this, oh, really cool, yeah. this, yeah, this really cool system of working out that confuses your muscles, right? Yes. So it doesn't let your muscles get into a routine. It doesn't let, it's like normally when you work out, your muscles eventually find a routine and the acceleration finishes. So what I've created is a course that uses what I call the quadruple healing multiplier. It's a bunch of different healings. It's all under the spontaneous transformation system of healing and the spontaneous transformation frequencies. There's like Reiki, there's STT frequencies that get, um, that get attuned and turned on. And okay. so they're always there. They're, they're here right now. People might be feeling it. And it's really cool because when the STT frequencies are on, the work, uh, the play and the healing gets that much more powerful and that much more accelerated because there's this constant energy that's supporting us in the healing. So what I've done is uh, I've got the quadruple healing multiplier, which is keeping us on our spiritual toes. It's not letting us to, to fall into a routine of any kind with the healing work. And the, uh, the, the uh, quadruple healing multiplier includes attunements, 
where I'm going to do the, the foundation attunements, which are the foundational attunements that will support your system in opening up to the state of being. Okay. And um, I also am going to do the spontaneous transformation technique, which is 11 steps that allows you to get to that core material that was established when we were children. Wow. So it, it, some people call it, uh, think it's inner child work. It's not. It's actually inner trauma work. It's releasing those things that are still fueling the mind, um, that are still, um, and, and it's deep in the unconscious. So it's, it's been difficult until now to get to. So we're going to do one, uh, an STT, a uh, series of STT sessions, and there's some bonus STT sessions you get as well. There are some extra bonuses. So um, 11 steps, you take people through the steps? Yep. I walk That's people amazing. through the steps. Yep. Wow. And then um, they're going to receive uh, a healing, healing journeys. Now, when I was in my th late 20s, early 30s, I did a ton of shamanic work. I did shamanic journeys all the time. And what's happened now is over the years, I've developed the system of doing healing journeys that are really repatterning the vibrational energy fields of the body. They're creating new stories that we can now latch onto instead of the old stories. And it's also imbued with the STT frequencies. So we're going to be doing some healing journeys as well as part of the quadruple healing multiplier. Wow. And then finally, I do sound vibration. And I've been doing sound vibration for a really long time, about almost 30 years. I started doing it, and I apologize in advance for the visual, in my bathtub. Um, <laughs> and I, 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 it's a certain frequency when you're around water. Yes. Oh, yes. And on top of that, the acoustics in the bathroom are great for sound yeah. vibration. Yes. So I started spontaneously toning, and I had a really bad migraine at the time, and I started toning, and the migraine went away. It, I could feel the vibration in my head. It was like shaking something loose. And I'm like, this is so cool. So I started doing it on myself. And I did that for about 10 years. And then I started introducing it into uh, my client work. My guides are showing me the story of how I met my best friend, Mary A. Hall. Uh, oh, yeah. I, was, I was at a workshop with her and she shattered her shoulder and the, got, her guides were nudging me to do sound vibration. So I said, I do sound vibration. Do you mind if I support your shoulder a little bit? <laughs> I didn't warn her in advance that I was going to tone into her shoulder really loud. <laughs> she did. I did, but she had instant pain relief. Wow. And so I do soul songs and I do tonal healing. And we're actually going to be doing a chakra clearing through sound vibration um, on, on that course. Uh, so there's the STT, the... Um, uh, the attunements, the sound vibration, and the healing journeys is part of it. And we're going to finish with a, a healathon. I do an extended healathon, which is about three hours plus, and oh I get to God. work with almost everyone in the course. And it's really, really a powerful day because we're going to do more attunements, more STTs, more healing journeys, more sound vibration on that three hour healathon. It might be three more than three hours. So that course is, I'm so excited. I've never done this course before. I'm and not sure I'll ever do it again. Super cool. It's pretty cool. If you go to the website, which is theawareshow.com forward slash Jennifer, theawareshow.com forward slash Jennifer, uh, Gina will put it in the chat there. And it is a, a, a course that the Shift Network is putting on with Jennifer, supporting her to support us through this incredible. He, Jennifer's an amazing healer. She really is an extraordinary healer. And I bring that up, Jennifer, because all I had to do was mention that people are hurting. And I know that you can't see the chat right now, but there is, there's a lot of hurt going on. There's, there's, I, I can't really see the whole piece on gun violence here. That is a real problem. It is a real problem. And we don't know how to help the legislation, but what Jennifer, I mean, we, there's ways to do it. It moves at a different frequency. What Jennifer's talking about right now is what we can do today, what we can do right now. This is very, very important. Many people yeah. are saying that. Too. Yeah, and I talk, and I'm not saying you know go uh, go into your back into your closet or into your back room and meditate away this away. I'm not saying that. However, right, go into your back room and meditate until you can find that quiet space. And then take action from the impulses that are coming through from that quiet space. And I'm telling you that everything you've ever desired for yourself and more importantly for what you desired for the planet will be shown to you, revealed to you in, in very clear, clear ways um, 
by moving into that state by healing, we're, we're first of all impacting the web of all of humanity. And if 70, 150,000 of us are in that pure state of being, in that still point, that refined still point of the neutral. When 750,000 are in that, there's going to be, I, can, I don't know what's happening right now, but there's this huge awakening here. There's actually a, a little, you might be feeling this. They're giving us a sample of what it's going to feel like on that day. Ah. So can you feel that? There's a really powerful wave. It's kind of going. That's my heart rate. It's, yes. Yes. <laughs> and some of you might be feeling that it, it, you're getting a preview of what it's going to be like on that day. And you're going to, it, it reminds me of, um, this is a weird example. So excuse me. This is what they're showing me. Okay. Uh, they're showing me the day after 9-11. Um, I don't know if you remember that. On September 11th, yes. um, 2001, everyone yes. was kind to one another. Everyone. Oh, yes. We met each other on the highway. Way. I was at a line in the bank. People were kind. They were smiling. I mean, it's bringing tears to my eyes as yes. I think about yes. it. Yes, yes. The day after 9-11. Now, that happened from something that was so horrible. And this is going to now happen because of something so wonderful from love. And that love comes from being that love. And when we are that love, we are receiving the impulses of the soul. I call them the I am pulses that are, are allowing us to take action, not do, take action into the world now from a place. So do you want to stop gun violence? Uh, stop the violence within. And I, and I don't mean stop. Notice that there's a vi violence within you. If you are reacting to anything in the world, there's something inside of you that's ready to heal and transform. And when you do that, using STT or any other system that you know, when you do that, when you heal that part of you, you're now in a whole new place that can actually bring what you are seeking in terms of peace into the world. It's for real. <laughs> it, yes, and, and actually this is what um, Lynn here is talking about, and she's basically saying that the answers are within. And Absolutely. We are here to, um, someone else, Michelle, saying we are here to be love and to evolve love. That's right. And feel free, by the way, to raise your hand because Jennifer will work with you as well. And the healings that she's doing with everyone is for all of us. And it, it lasts through to the replay, and it's, it's incredibly strong because... That's what we need is this level of experiential healing, not just talking about it, not, you know, just really that level of experiential healing, which I think is why it's so cool that you're doing a live course. This isn't a pre-recorded course. You are yeah. getting people on the phone with you. I mean, on the, the calls, the, the videos with you and really working with people. And you said earlier, it's the web it, when it affects one of us it affects all of us absolutely it does absolutely. yeah it's, and it's a really advanced course too i'm super super excited yes that's really cool so now um how, we're if you just you have the raise your hand technology it's on the thing there's a way to raise your hand and then i can call on you right at the very bottom of your screen thank you very much um if you if you mouse over the bottom of the screen there's a hand uh raise i there's a hand raise icon just and click on can, that and to raise your hand. And yeah, and then we'll be able to ask your question. There's, there's so much here and there's so much juiciness. And I will mention again that the whole course that, um, oh, we have a very special surprise for you guys. The whole course that Jennifer is teaching, we, I know, if you go to theawareshow.com forward slash Jennifer, The Aware Show has got this incredible discount we just got this really cool discount code from the lovely people at the shift network and if you enter in in the promo code the word aware lowercase aware you will get a discount on this program as well and that is only for you all listening right now for you watching this if you go to the aware show.com forward slash jennifer at the bottom you'll see there's a way to enter the word aware and that will give you a discount on the program as well which is Great, because you're really going to get in and do the actual work. Yeah, you know? no, no one else is getting a discount. No one, not even my people, Isn't are getting cool? a discount. That's really exciting. I mean, tell, tell she, everyone. She's pretty amazing. I mean, she she worked this out for you guys because I didn't even get that. So I that's know. I, I, wanted, I really wanted this to be special for yeah. everyone on because I know people come on these calls 
as you know, it's, it, it's magic the way that it happens. You're all here for a reason. You all found your way here, created the time and got yourself into this specific environment for a reason. We're all connected in a way you're connected to Jennifer. You're connected with me as well. And so be here and you needed to hear this right now. I needed to hear this right now. I needed to shift from doing, which I do. Oh, my husband, he will tell you, I am a doer. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay. To, it's okay. But, but reframe, feel it. Feel it right now, Lisa. Just feel it right now. What if everything that you were doing now we're coming from a place of being and you're instead you were taking action. Would that feel different than, than what you, I, I suspect you're taking action more than you realize. I am, but I'm taking action from a place of doing now. You are. Okay. Okay. Well, and that, that creates illness that takes energy from your field of being, which doesn't allow your immune system to work properly. That, um, that, uh, puts a slowdown on your prosperity. Um, and with the amount of toxins coming at us all day long, yes. with food and water and air and EMF, I think we personally need to super boost our bodies with tools like this. Yes, state of being yeah. uh, is, is the- An Essential element in the body. Oh, man, it is so powerful when we remain in a state of being. It creates miracles of healing. One of my clients went from terminal cancer to not terminal cancer anymore. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty amazing what can happen. Real, true miracles happen from, from moving into this state of being. And from, from the SDT system, which really goes into the um, subconscious and, um, and really heals up trauma in ways that kind of blows my mind. You know, there's no accidents that I created this because I had a ton of trauma in childhood. So I had a lot, a lot, a lot of layers. Um, the STT, they showed me that we repress emotions when we're children so that we can survive because if we had expressed the emotion, it wouldn't have been safe. It might've even been dangerous. Right. And in some cases it wouldn't have mattered. So we repress it. We're smart as little kids. We repress oh, the emotion. So. Mm -hmm. And so that emotion, uh, they show, they showed me a long time ago that these are um, emotions are wrapped up in these walnuts so that we are protected from that emotion forever. Um, however, what's happened is that they slow down our energy. Some of us have mountains of them. I had like a, a, a I don't know, a billion <laughs> walnuts because with every trauma, the, there could be multiple dozens, hundreds, thousands of walnuts for any given trauma because there's all these weird warped little things that happen in the midst of trauma. And so trauma can be anything as simple as um, you got upset with your brother and went to go after him and broke your toe to a, a second grade teacher telling you to sit down. Uh, those are big traumas in the life of a child to, abs to ac actually sexual abuse and narcissism and, and alcoholism like I experienced. So all of it, there's no competition here with who has the most abuse. All of us has ha have had some kind of trauma and these traumas have created these walnuts of repressed emotion, they've they've created these these moments where we are. Um, it's a belief that is actually running the show. It's a program that is running things in our life, and we're like, why won't that change? That's why it won't change because it's deep in the subconscious. So SDT goes way way deep in there, and finally helps you unravel and crack open these walnuts. It's really exciting. There's um, okay, so there, we do have a question from Lainey. Sure. And, um, Let's see here. This is our first time doing this with Zoom webinars. So how do I bring Lini up? Um, okay. I, well, okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> She's asking about sound healing. Ah. Um, and she wants to know about sound healing and what it is. Okay, sure. Uh, there she is. So um, I think I can probably un. Oh, great, her. great, great. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Yes. Got Hi, it. Lainey. Yes, she's on. Hi. Hi, oh. Lainey. Great. What is your question for Jennifer? Uh, well, you had mentioned that you were doing, going to be doing sound healing in your course. Yes. And um, so I was just, I, I just started um, learning some about, a little bit about sound healing. It's, it seems very interesting to me. So I'm wondering if you'll be teaching us how to do sound healing. I will be teaching you how to do sound healing. The kinds of sound vibration I do is um, tonal healing and it's also soul songs. 
and um, you're going to, I'll be using tonal healing and uh, soul songs to sh clear and shift the chakras. The, the chakras respond extremely well to sound vibration. Uh, so we'll be doing sound vibration during that class to clear the chakras. And I will be also teaching you how to do your own sound vibration and your own soul song. So yes, I will be teaching you a little bit about that. And, wow, how exciting. Yeah, and sound, vi I know, it's like, it's got everything. And sound vibration is really cool because the way that I use sound vibration too is that first of all, I program the sound, which is a little bit different than just playing a sound. I have this weird ability to program things. Uh, so I'll be programming the sound with a specific healing intention um, and the chakra using a sound that's also in alignment with the chakra. And sound vibration for me is also something that I use often at the end of a repatterning. Um, and so repatterning happens when any kind of healing happens and we've made a new choice. We've made a decision about who we actually are versus who we thought we were. And at the end of that, I often use sound vibration because we've got this new beautiful little weave. Kind of like a neuron, a neuron net. Yeah, kind of. And it's new and gentle of light. And, and it's what we do is we tighten that weave with sound vibration. It okay. goes in and just says, ah, this is what it is. Woo. And it tightens that new pattern. Um, so that's in part how I use sound vibration. Like, like tightening down a guitar string. <laughs> exactly. You got it. Exactly. <laughs> that's great. So it is like repatterning, literally. Absolutely. I do a ton of repatterning. You will definitely experience a lot of repatterning in this. So course. will that prevent me from, uh, help me to not have the, old, the lower vibrations? Like will it help me uh, raise a, rise above those? Yes. You, well, you will raise your vibration so that the lower vibrations no longer matter. Ah, okay. Right. Instead of, um, I, I'm not a big fan of getting rid of because everything okay. is beautiful. Like uh, Einstein said, um, Einstein said, there's a quote, it, it, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form into another. Okay. Uh, and I turned around to look at that because it's behind me. It's one of my favorite quotes because, yeah. and that talks about not getting rid of, because we don't need to get rid of anything. Everything is perfect as, as it should be. It's just different versions and densities of light and love. And so when we can get, that's that also part of that state of being, when we can be in that state of being, with everything that's in our life and say, oh, it's just moving from one frequency into another. So yes, you will definitely raise your frequency by a lot in this course. Oh, thank you for that other explanation as well. I really, I really am gonna take that forward. Good, thank good lady. With this lady, I appreciate it. Sure, thank um, you. All right, so, and by the way, if you go to that, um, the website is theawareshow.com forward slash Jennifer. And when you get to, at the bottom, you'll see a way to participate in the program. And when you click onto the cart there, you'll just enter in the promo code section, the word aware, all lowercase, and then you'll get an additional discount on this. Because not only do I wanna add a ton of value here, which I know Jennifer always, always over delivers, but it's, it, is something, it is something that we need so much right now is, is healing at the level of being. Mm. You know, it's not steps and techniques. It is, we're, we're needing different types of tools right now. Yeah. And I think it's important that we have, that you're able to transmit through this spontaneous transmission, that you're actually able to do that on these calls. I listen to your calls and you have a community of people that you're, you, you know, you do prayer healings and you do when there's events that happen, there all sorts of world events and you bring people together and you really shift the consciousness and it's it's beautiful you've done it uh, for a very long time yeah thank you I, I uh yeah i do i do it from a more pristine place than i used to i have to say uh, well, you're evolving <laughs> i am evolving you know before i was uh uh, you, you know, we teach what we, we just need to learn. And I was, uh, I was right there with pretty much everyone when I do a prayer and, and it would come through and I'd be, wow, I really needed that. And so all of those prayers, all of those healings that I've done that have also helped me have led me to this moment where it's just a, a, a pure energy, I think. Um, and, and that's not to, you know, build myself up in any way. It's just feels true. It's just, there's a pure energy here that I'm able to um, bring to the table when I do healing work that is helpful for me and everyone. Yes. 
Now, when you do this, is it a transmission that you hear and your guides bring to you, or is it something that comes from within you? Um, well, the whole thing came through, came through guidance, so I can't take credit for that. Um, and I, that's a good question, um, Lisa. When I'm doing the STT, I'm tapping into, um, I'm, I'm able to do, uh, I've been able to for a long time do long distance healing. I can see what's happening in someone's body and in their system. Oh. And I'm able to really feel the, uh, the, the energy sh sh systems moving. It's kind of like long distance verbal um, uh, cranial sacral. It's like verbal cranial wow. sacral. I think a cranial sacral therapist might say, you're insane, that can't happen. But that's kind of what it feels like to me. Because uh, I started in uh, doing uh, uh, cranial sacral and getting into some advanced cranial sacral. And uh, then I established the system from that and from a few other things and then channeled a bunch the uh, the rest of it uh, to come together. But yeah, it's uh, uh, I am definitely in a state of constant listening. And I can watch as... Um, the group dynamic is really quite powerful because um, all when one pings, it pings everyone. Oh, and so when one person is getting it, it helps everyone to get it. It's really quite powerful. And, um, you know, with the shift, they also have a really unique way of doing things where there's, you're actually going to be able to talk to each other, to other classmates during the program and oh, share a little cool. bit. And you're going to be able to try some of your sound vibration um, with other people on the call. I mean, not... In, in small groups. We're going to be doing small groups as if you're in an actual event and workshop. It's pretty cool what the shift is doing. That is really neat. So it's a yeah. virtual classroom. Yes. Oh, I love that. That is yeah. great. That's beautiful technology. It's very environmentally friendly and, yes. and you don't have to spend all that money traveling. That's right. Yeah. And the shift is just, they're just so amazing. I feel unbelievably honored. Like this is a big deal for me to be on the shift. It's yes, really it is. It's very <laughs> It's really, really cool. It's really exciting. And yeah. also, I know that you participate in helping with shaping the program. Of course, it is your program. But yes, yes. Um, Jennifer has been a brilliant, um, her, your background is marketing, right? Yes, I, I, I've been a healer since I was 29. And I was also a full time marketer. Yeah. So I, I did healing practices on and off for all those decades. Uh, but my full time job was as a marketer, I was a brand specialist. Um, specializing in startups in the tech industry. I launched Yahoo Canada in 1995. That's how wow. old I am when we were using fax machines, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. And the reason I bring that up is because I have a lot of uh, my listeners are business people and they are interested in growing their business and so forth. And I bring up the fact that Jennifer came from the business industry because that's, this is now the combination of all of it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, there is no, the, the lines have been completely blurred between healing and business now. Absolutely. Like it comes from this place of being. Yes, if you want to run and start your own business, it comes from the state of being. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Yeah. And uh, you know, he's my CEO and I am absolutely, <laughs> I follow the guidance. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. It's on right now more than ever it's terribly important oh yes 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 it, yeah things come at us so quickly and so fast all you can really do is follow the guidance and that's right so you'll get a lot of that as well in in this course and be able to address all the different things that you have questions about and and so forth there if you have any other questions type them in the chat but we do need to wrap up because i told people i would only take an hour of their time tonight but could you then finish this call with a prayer or a transmission or something that can really help people feel and experience the energy we've been speaking. About. Sure. Let's see. You know what I'm going to do? Um, one of the bonuses that you get as part of when you join this program is actually remote healing transmissions. Um, I actually focus on the individuals who are in this course every single day. So I personally take 25 to 30 minutes. Almost most of the time it's in the morning. Um, sometimes it's broken up and I do some morning and some evening. Um, I generally do Ho'oponopono in the evening and I have prayer work in the morning. <clears throat> and so uh, what I do is, um, is this prayer work is something I've been doing for quite a few years now. Um, and we have thousands and thousands of people on my monthly prayer circles. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a spontaneous transformation prayer work, essentially. 
uh, and it's a little bit different than STT itself. It has the same kind of frequencies involved. So I'd love to finish this call by giving you a sample of what I'll be doing with you every single morning um, as I tap into and I see you. Does that sound like that would be fun? Yes, absolutely. Okay, yes, good. Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> so everyone just take a moment right now and, and just ask the question, what if I were at the center of my being right now? And just feel yourself in the center of your soul, connected to your soul. And just pretend. And even if you have an inkling that you're doing it, that's enough that you're doing it. And if some of you are thinking, I can't do it, just pretend that you can for a minute and see what that feels like. And you'll start opening the gate, opening the door to that energy. That's it. And so you're just going to stay there now for the rest of this. And I'm just going to um, do a little healing transmission with you right now. And all you have to do is just be in that place of opening and beingness. And you might notice your energy expanding as this happens. It's already started. And so I'm here to say that I see you. I see you standing before me. I see you as this beautiful energy of light. And it is bright and spectacular and so beautiful. I wish you could see what I see as I see the hundreds of souls standing before me right now. I see you. And I want you to notice what it feels like to be seen. I see your bright light. I see that you are a sliver of divinity itself. And you are this beautiful prism that is releasing that divine energy through into the world through your thoughts, words, and actions, even if you don't think they're good ones. They're all contributing in some powerful, beautiful way. And I see you. I see you. I see your bright light. I see you. And you are so beautiful and so magnificent. I see you. There you go. There's a little shift happening now. And as I see you, you might notice that you're being seen. Mm. There might be an expansion that's happening here. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. And as I see you, I want you to know that I trust you. I trust your soul. I trust your soul's decisions. I trust why your soul has brought you here. I trust where your soul is taking you. I trust you. I see your bright light and I trust you implicitly. I trust your soul's decisions. I trust your soul. I trust your soul's journey. I see you and I trust you. There we go. There's another shift there now. There we go. Beautiful. And I've got my hands in the vibrational shift and that's shining the light of consciousness and the expansion that's happening right now, which elevates and expands the expansion even more. There we go. Mm -hmm. And now something is happening. There's an ignition happening. It's just, as if you're being elevated up from being seen, just a simple, simple yeah. act of being seen. You're being elevated up and the container of your being is opening as you are elevated up and you're going up to this beautiful, infinite, eternal realm. And as you enter that area, you are, start, you are being filled with the light of your soul. And so you're filled with this beautiful, beautiful, divine light of your soul. And as it fills you, you start to remember who you are. As it fills you, you feel that restorative energy. As it fills you, you start to feel nourished and seen and acknowledged. Does that feel true? Yes. yes. And you are filled and filled and filled. And this beautiful energy is this purest energy of refined stillness and love. It is divine love. It is the, the love that you are. And you are starting to remember who you are as this love. And it <clears throat> fills every nook and cranny, and cranny. And it concentrates in areas of your physical, emotional, mental bodies where it's most needed. And you are filled and filled and filled and filled and filled and filled. And it nourishes and nurtures and loves and honors and honors you. That's it. And it fills you and loves you and honors you. And it cools. <laughs> it cools the, the hot. 
it softens the upset and it loves you. And it overflows now. It's, you're so full that it overflows right into your circumstances. <clears throat> and as it overflows into your circumstances, you feel the hard edges of life softening. Mm. Is that feel true? <coughs> That's it. Yes. And as those hard edges soften, that's it. You can feel yourself moving into a new energy. That's it. Yeah. Mm. That's it. <coughs> and I see you. Mm. I see you filled. You are so I see good. You remembering. And I see you remembering your soul. Yes. I see you. Yes. <laughs> felt and seen and heard and all of the above <coughs> and connected. That's it. Thank you. And so I say to you, I love you. I see you. I see your light. I know what you're up to. <laughs> I know what you're up to. And so it is. Ah. Oh, Amen. Thank you. Thank you for that experience of being. Thank you. <coughs> And to all of you, thank you for being here and for sharing your energy and for your, your presence and your passion and your beingness in the world. Move, move it forward. And you can take Jennifer's class. You can go to theawareshow.com forward slash Jennifer. And also remember to put aware in lowercase for a dis special discount just for my amazing aware family which i'm so grateful thank you all i appreciate you i love you and thank you jennifer so mm. much and until next time i invite you all just to stay aware thank you so much see you bye everyone thank you bye.